Hi, I'm Cher Kaufman. Today we're going to do a media mix-up where we're mixing two different media together, markers and pencils. In this example here, I wanted to show you a way of using markers underneath and on top in different applications. If you have a large space of doing backgrounds, here's an example of a black background. Now I've used brown marker in the back just so that you can see it on video but what I really want to point out is this is just pencil all by itself this is marker by itself and this is pencil and marker combined in this case what I've done is I've put the marker underneath I've applied it first then I've done my pencil on top so this is a really nice way to get a large area of color, of intensity, like a night sky or even the depth of an ocean. So this is a really nice way to play with color in those areas. So here you can see that even though I'm using a brown background just for your example, combining the two is a much deeper color than if it is just by itself. And of course you can use this with variations of other colors, blues as an example, and here in the sky. Now I want to show you how to apply marker both on top and underneath pencil in a little bit different application. Moving up to the area over here with the foliage, I want to show you a nice way of using a background with marker, which I've done here, just a real bright green marker in the background. And then moving to my pencils here where I have both a light highlight and a dark and a mid-tone as well in there. And my pencils don't actually have to work as hard now because the marker that's underneath already allows for color to, to shine through. It's already existing on the page. So my pencil doesn't actually have to cover nearly as much. Not only doesn't have to cover the all the white spaces of that tooth of the paper, it's not shining through because it's covered with the marker itself. I'm gonna change pencils here. But the way that I apply my pencils is actually a lot easier now. What's fun about doing coloring this way is that now I can add details with a fine tip marker. But now what I really want to show you is my favorite way of working with marker and pencil together. And it's not only a way of adding the marker, but it actually adds a little punch of color too. So if we move to the bark of the tree, you notice that the bark of the tree actually has four different colors that are moving through that. Now what I have access to now is that I can actually use, I've got about, well I could do all four of them here. I can do the same thing matching my colors and my markers together and bringing them together in a completely different way. So here, just as an example, you'll see I can actually intensify. I've got my pencil down here and then I can intensify by adding a little bit of orange marker and then I use my orange pencil immediately afterwards and I'm, I'm basically smearing that marker around. So what that does is it allows the marker to slide on top of the pencil and it may even fill in some of the white spaces of the tooth of the paper. Here's where we can really have a lot of fun. You'll notice here I've got my dark purple that's put on top to create a little bit of texture in here. When I add a bright pink marker into this area, not only will it add a punch of color, but it really changes the dynamics of how this marker and pencil relationship work together. And you can see it really just softens right in. And I don't even have to add a lot of pressure because really the marker is just gliding on top, right on top of that pencil. So now you've seen some fun ways to play with marker and with pencil. Now it's your turn. Find your style. Have fun.